Hey everybody, I'm back in a closet, not the usual closet, but I'm over here in Mammoth, California. And earlier in the week, I was at Bishop, California. I'm not too sure if a lot of people have been there. If you have, please let me know in the comment section below. So at the hotel that I was staying at, and by the way, forgive me for the echo, this is not my house this is a cabin that I rented but if you can please bear with me at the hotel where I was staying at earlier in the week there's a sign that says in summary um, just I don't remember exactly what it, what it said but I'll have a pop-up in the screen right now but it's, it said something to the fact of the hotel is not responsible or property management not responsible for valuables that are left in your vehicle or anything that happens inside of your vehicle. So what this concept is called, and it's a legal concept, it's called assumption of risk. And traditionally, the assumption of risk defense has been reserved for sports-like activities, such as football. If you play football or basketball, there's an assumption, an implied assumption, that you might get hurt. Your fingers might get hurt, you might sp sprain your ankle. You play football, you're gonna, you're gonna encounter um, some, maybe some type of defensive maneuver by another football player. Bottom line is you're gonna get touched and you're probably gonna get hurt, but by engaging in the sport, you're assuming risk. Now this concept has been extended to other torts, so on a hotel premises, there might be somebody that might have had their car broken into and they want to sue property management. Um, and one of the defense defenses that property management might have is, well, the plaintiff assumed the risk. They knew what they're getting into because they saw the sign and the sign said that you're parking here at your own risk. They're not responsible for any damage to your vehicle or theft. And by parking there, staying at the hotel, you agreed that the property management or the owners were not gonna be responsible. This is a important concept for those of you who are out there marketing, you're trying to keep your, your, um, your client, and this is an excellent way to show off your knowledge base. Now, remember, some people get really turned off if you try to show them what you know. Some people want to be asked first uh, if, if you if they can show you something. So you gotta be really careful about showing your knowledge all the time. But this is one of the things that you can that you can mention is hey I recommend is not giving you legal advice, but you might want to put an assumption of risk um, sign at the beginning of the parking lot, maybe in the middle maybe towards the back, but wherever people normally park, you might, you might want to have those signs. And something just so simple can save the client potentially hundreds of thousand dollars, maybe millions, maybe only a hundred dollars. But you're showing the client that your services are so valuable that you are saving them money in the long run by saving on attorney fees and potential litigation. Also, if you're looking through these parking lots and you're looking for these new clients, um, if you find broken glass shards or small pieces in the little crevices of the street or the parking lot, they're usually brushed off to the side. Um, you have a potential burglary problem, vehicle burglary problem. And maybe management might be considering hiring your services, but the small little creeks or I'm sorry the small little cracks that you'll find um, the broken glass um, some of you might be saying well that might just be broken bottles of beer that's true you know that that's that that's very true but if you're starting to find a lot of broken bottles of beer all kinds of glass well there's still a problem there you, you don't you don't want to have people drinking in the parking lot um, because in itself that could be a liability especially if you own a bar or a restaurant and you are serving people 
um, that are intoxicated, um, you, you know, you know that they're intoxicated and you, yet you serve them alcohol. I mean, that, that's, that's good grounds to lose in a negligence, um, lawsuit. Okay. And maybe, maybe, um, some type of tort lawsuit, but probably negligence. Um, you, you do have a duty of care to the public, but again, you have to know that the person that you're serving is obviously intoxicated and yet you serve them. Um, so these are just little tidbits. Um, some of you might nitpick at what I'm mentioning today um, in this short video of five to seven minutes. I can't touch on every single basis, but I always have my comment warriors, um, those of you who help me along the way and provide guidance to others, and you guys fill in the gaps on where I where I forgot or I didn't have time to in the video. So you guys all be safe and take care.